So I've had a chance to work on my Adventure Builder video game some more, and here, let me show you. I'm still in the uh, creating the universe phase of everything, and so I've got lots of objects you can move around. These happen to be headlights, and here's a battery. You can move that around too. Oh, and you can pick stuff up and rotate it too, so if you need to put it in a different orientation or whatever. That's cool. And here's some wires. If I grab a wire, and hook it up to the battery. You can see these little blue lines. That means the, the wire is on. And I think this hurt this right to the wire, but it's much more impressive if it's got multiple wires. Because it feels a lot harder to program multiple wires, multiple wire connections. Anyway, yeah, if one of these headlights touches the wire, it turns on. Very exciting. Not that exciting because it's daylight right now, but I'll show you nighttime in a minute. Nighttime's really cool. And over here we've got a. Let me get it open. This is a motor. And if you take a fan blade and stick it on the motor, it sticks there. And then you can. Uh, I want my, uh, well, as you can see, right, hold on, I'll just try to Keep this wire behind the fan blade so it doesn't blow it away. <clears throat> so, the fan blows stuff, which is what happened to my wire that was connecting it. Well, maybe I should have kept it since it's actually on there. Yeah, my fan messed up all my connections there. So if I put anything there, let's see, let me pick something up. Yeah, see, it starts blowing it, and if I, uh... Disconnect the wire. Oops. Well, I dropped it in the fan. And things keep going for a second after you disconnect the, the electricity because, you know, there's momentum and stuff. Well, actually, I can tell you programming-wise, it's because of the way the wires work. This battery gives this, this piece of wire some energy, which, and this wire gives this piece of wire some energy, and they can store a certain amount so that you don't get... Uh, you know, constant turnoffs and delays and stuff. So they, they each store a little bit of energy, so they they work like little batteries. And then the motor itself, or the headlight, or whatever, they all store a little bit of energy too, just so you don't get um, you know intermittent turnoffs every time the computer's not keeping up with the the you know whatever's going on. So if you take the battery away, it'll keep going while these wires discharge, and then it stops. <clears throat> Which I kind of like, and it makes it so that the wires can all act individually. So you can... It just works very intuitively, like you can just pile a whole bunch of wires together and it doesn't mess them up. So it's really hard to do it wrong. And you can hook the battery up anywhere in the series of wires. And you can hook up uh, a light over there, or over here. Yeah, I'm very excited about this, because it was kind of hard to program. and. I mean, it wasn't super hard, but it was a little complicated. And over here, you've got a counter by the battery that shows its energy. Right now, it's down to just under 800, and it started at 1200. And there will be a way to charge it back up. And the battery has a maximum capacity. Uh, this battery is a 1200 battery, just because that's what I picked. And the headlights and the motor use different amounts of energy. And anyway, it's just really cool. And you can build lots of stuff this way. And on top of that, let's see. Let's get some stuff out of the way. Let me get in the robot. If you take the motor, I don't want to be facing this way, and you stick it on your cockpit, it'll stick to your cockpit, and anything that uses energy that you attach to your cockpit will turn on if you activate the cockpit onboard power which is the H button right now. And then you can blow stuff around. And different things are at different rates, blow at different speeds. Like the headlights are, you know, kind of light. The wires are really light. Let's turn it off for a second. Go right up to it. Yeah. Anyway. And these uh, bullets are kind of heavy. So they're harder to push around. Or you can even push around your tools, which move really slow because they're extra heavy. Oh, I don't have to turn on. You have to be in there to turn it off. Let's get rid of that. And let me show you headlights. Headlights are cool. Oh, yeah, you can walk faster on the path. That's why you get turbo speed. That's been there for a while. Let me find another headlight. It's cool, yeah. It's alright when you have one headlight, because you know, you know this and your headlight turns on. But uh, if you have two headlights, you can go like this. Let me take this headlight and rotate it. Yeah, right, it's a little bit harder to do this with the camera in the way of the keyboard. Um, let's see, rotate that one around a little bit. And then you get double headlights. Now what's the point of headlights, right? It's not even dark. Well, right now I have it just so if you push the D button, it turns... It starts turning to night. <clears throat> and as you can see, there's slowly darkness coming in. And if you turn on your headlights, blam! Isn't that exciting? So anyway, if you know, you come over here and pick up a blaster. Oh, well, it's good thing this blaster isn't very high detail, because it's a new blaster that doesn't actually exist yet in the stores or anything. 
Oh no, here's a bad guy. Good thing I had those headlights where I wouldn't have seen them coming. Anyway, now you can have headlights and wind on there if you want to be silly, but they use energy. Although right now your cockpit just has infinite energy, like it'll uh, it'll run down the energy in the cockpit. But then if you turn everything back on, back off, and then back on, it resets it, so you're back to full power. I might just leave it like that because I don't want to be too nitpicky with like, you know, having to constantly deal with energy all the time. I don't know. I'll figure something out. So that's what I've been working on lately. All these electrical connection thingies. And I've been setting it up so that it's really easy to add new new items. Like there's a there's a section in my programming that covers all the wires and all the motors and all the lights and all the batteries. So I can add a new battery in just by adding a new battery image and um, and just typing in what its maximum power is and what its starting power is, you know, if it's charged or not. Oh, and it takes a while, but see how it's glowing here, blue? If you run the battery down to dead, it, it doesn't glow anymore, but that takes like five minutes. So I'm not going to do that right now. Actually, I guess it doesn't take that long. But whatever, I'm not going to do it right now. Oh, let me turn my stuff off. And then you can still, uh, you know, chop down trees and stuff. And dig holes. Oops. And drag stuff into the holes. Drag logs into the holes anyway. To make pillars. And I'll make other, lots of other buildy kind of stuff like that. Oh, and right now I'm working on a switch. I'm going to put a switch in here. So let me show you how to do that, actually. Uh, here's my little images. I've got an image of an off switch. Cleaning up the images a little bit. Let's go upstairs. Let's get a new object. Oh, and all my files. Where is it? Switches. Box 16. 16 pixels wide. I need to add a new animation for cowards. I think that's what it's called. All these things have to be called specific things so that they match up with the stuff I've already set up. It makes it really easy to add new items as long as I call them all the right thing. Alright, so that's all. I know, great. Okay, if we go over here, Jamie Movables. I'll add it to that one. Let's see, I'll go here. Oh, I didn't name it anything yet, so it's just called Sprite. I'll add that there. That means I can move it now. Hmm, the weight of the Movable 10. There's a button right there. 5 pounds, that's a pretty big button, but that's fine. Yeah, then I need to add them to electrical power and electrical user. Because they power things and they use electricity. It goes through just like wires. Oh, where'd I put it? I didn't rename it the button. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's stick one out here to play with for a second. It won't actually work yet, but I just have to check that I can move it and it'll connect electrical stuff. So right now it's just permanently on. Let's put it. Oh yeah, and you hold down S to move stuff around. If you're just walking around and not holding down S, it doesn't do anything. Right, so if you hold down S, it picks stuff up. I don't remember why I picked this. Um, yeah, to make sure this wire isn't touching this other wire. Make sure this is just touching the button. Oh, I know. I didn't set. I buttons are kind of complicated. Why do I have to show them buttons? Uh. Um, okay, so making a button is a little more complicated than just adding another thing that uses energy. But if I stick this wire on it, it should get energized. Okay, good. Let's just double check with the headlight. Uh oh. 
Oh, I'm not trying to turn off the light. What's going on here? Oh, no, I've done something. Oh, my light's not turning on. Oh, maybe I did. Oops. God, don't, for some reason, it set all of them to be wires. Okay, those are false. That should be okay, though. Alright, I think I have them. Up there, I'm just going to over here. Let me try to get enough space. Alright, wire. Alright, that works. Can I see the headlight on there? Oh, that works too. That's, uh, that's if you put this in the wires, it'll blow everything away and mess it all up. Which will be successful. Yes, okay, good. So, yeah, that's like what it is all day, making this video again. Can you really drive them around? Can you pick up some stuff and drop it? Can I drop those? Oh, yeah, I can drop them too. Forget about that. Yeah, I still have my, my wind isn't going away. I have to make sure that goes away. Because uh, when the fan turns on, this invisible thing comes here that's wind. And anything that touches the wind gets a kind of like a force applied to it based on some silly mathematical equation I made up based on their weight and blah, blah, blah. But the wind isn't disappearing when the motor turns off, when the fan stops. So I have to fix that. Yeah, but first I'll finish my button. Now all I have to do to the button is make it so that when you step on the button, it changes the animation to on and turns it on, and when you get off it, it switches the animation to off, and then it deactivates all the power from the button. Yeah. All right, so we go down here and add an event, and I want it to be when... Oh, wait. I don't just want it to be when a Jamie steps on it. I want it to be when a Jamie or a robot or any... Anything that's moving around gets on it. Hold on. Let um, me see if I have a family of items that would qualify. Trunkables, no roof, no robot blasters. Primary person, ah, uh, no, but that's not going to include the bad robots. I want the bad robots to be able to step on the buttons too. So, you know, you can set traps and stuff like that. So the bad robots come and step on the, the button and it turns on a blaster and it shoots at it or something. Anyway, pick up a little drawer. All right, I have to make a new family. Just, I don't know, characters that can walk around and stuff. Let's add evil robots and Jamie's and good robots. And I guess I can if I'm parked on top of the robot, put it on the button, that'll work too. Hmm, I can also, if, oh, I can make it so if you put a log on the button, it'll stay on. Haha, <laughs> good thinking. Let me see, if anything else you should put on the button and make it stay on. Nah, yeah, I think that's pretty good for the moment. I'm sure there'll be other things. Oh, wait, maybe you put a, a heavy tool on there. That'll hold the button on. Yeah. Alright, and let's call them, I don't know, button pushers. Yeah, sounds good. Alright, back down here. If. A button pusher is overlapping another object. Choose the object, a button. Yeah, that's happening. And and the button is uh, is playing the off animation, which is the default. I don't want it to keep turning it on all the time. I don't want it to turn it on when it's off. So, all right, if the button pusher is overlapping the button and the button is off, then oh wait, that didn't go in there. Yeah. Then let's change the button animation set animation to I don't remember what it was called. Alright, let's just call it oh I don't know. Button. The animation's powered, that's what it is. Let's see. When it's on, it's powered, off it's default. Okay. I'm just gonna edit that to from ho. Oh, it was just ho because those letters were there. It doesn't mean anything. My fingers were on those letters. Anyway, the power. Okay. So now let's just test that real quick. I like testing a lot. You know, if you do a whole bunch of stuff and it doesn't work, then you don't know which thing went wrong. Okay, that works. And now I have to make it so if it's on, uh, no wait, I think it's just a push button. So as long as you're on it, it stays on. And as soon as you get off, it turns off. Alright. So you have to make it if, if the button is on and there's no button pusher pushing on it, then switch it off. Okay. Alright, again, should I just copy all that and paste it below? And then, okay. If, if a button pusher is not overlapping, so flip that. And the button is playing the default. No, I want it to be not the default. I want it to be if it's playing powered. Then, set the animation to default. Oh yeah, let's test that. Oh no, I didn't do it. Ah, that's something else. Oh god, it says the button is not overlapping the button pusher because of course there are button pushers that are not overlapping the button all the time because they're not all on the button. Ah, it's very little things. It's much easier to keep my brain straight when I'm not trying to practice on camera. There's all kinds of little details like that that make huge difference. Alright, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Let's test the... What else can turn it on? Oh, the robot can turn it on. Alright, let's go check that out. Ah yes, on, off, on, off. On, off. Excellent. Oops. And I remember this can turn it on too, I think, and it'll stay on if I leave it there. Okay, drop that on, pick it up. Ah, you can also... Oh, that's funny. If I'm like carrying it around, like. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It doesn't matter. As long as I'm, I'm touching it, yeah, that's fine. Wait. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Okay, now to make the button actually work, it's just whenever the button turns to powered, I have to change the. I have to give the button some. 
change its maximum power to something other than zero. And then whenever it's off, change its maximum power to zero and turn its power to zero. Ah, yes. Okay, so to turn it on, I just had to set the maximum energy to something. Anything over there. Over to it. And then to turn it off, I have to turn the maximum energy to zero so that it doesn't get energy. So maximum incoming and going out. Incoming and outgoing energy to zero. And the actual energy to zero. Uh, right. Okay, that should work. Anyway. Alright, so this should not light up the little wire. Okay, good. Now when I step on this, it should light up. Haha! -ha! I don't know if you can see the little blue electricity stuff coming on. Alright. So that means the, the wires are energized, so when I connect this to the wire, it should turn on for a second or two. Alright, there's the light eating up the electricity of the wire, and then it turns off. Okay, great. And then if I step on this, it should re-energize the wire and turn on the light. Ha ha! And now if I get off, it should eat up the electricity in the wire and then turn off in a second. Yes! Excellent! The uh, lights don't use much electricity, so it takes them a while to turn off or to use up the electricity even just in a wire. So let's check a motor too. Alright, the motor's blowing too. Oh, it's blowing things. And I turn that off. It should eat up the electricity a little faster. Yeah, cool. Mm, let's put one of those there. Oh yeah, I still have my wind going. <laughs> oh no, I hit the D button for darkness. Let's get some more lights out here. All right, we can stick this whole mess of junk inside electrical contacts. Where's the wind?